Well, here we go back again with another video. Yes, it's a Saturday before the Sunday, of course, and before the Sunday, Sunday, Sunderland start their new campaign to the new season, 2023-24 season, against Ipswich at 5pm tomorrow. Now, results today. Norwich have scored a last-minute goal in 97 minutes. Lots of injury time today. Remember that for tomorrow. Nine minutes and some games have added on time. Do you enjoy that? That should stop all the time wasting over a period of time at the stadium. And like teams come to Sunderland, hopefully not Ipswich tomorrow, and waste time. But now, if you waste time, you pay the consequences of loads of added on on time. Middlesbrough have lost, yes, Michael Carrick's lost his first game in charge of Middlesbrough this season against Millwall. Well done, Millwall. Southampton won last night and Watford started the campaign smashing their, their team they played against. It also Stoke hammered Rotherham today. But we're going to move on to some Sunderland information before tomorrow's first home game of the season. Supporters are encouraged to arrive early and after this we'll have some of the hard news. At the Stadium of Light on Sunday with over 43,000 fans expected to attend the club's opening fixture versus Ipswich Town. Digital season cards and match tickets. Digital season tickets and ITFC match tickets are now being delivered to supporters ahead of their new campaign. If you have not received, and I, you know, I, I, I reiterate, I reiterate, I know I say this really strongly. If you have not received your season ticket on the match day before the Sunday or Sunday, please get in touch with the ticket office as soon as possible. You can do this by emailing our support team on digital.support at sfc.com or by visiting our official light Stadium of Light ticket office. You can visit the ticket office. Ticket office and match day support hubs. The Stadium of Light ticket office will be open from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock on Sunday with support available for match day inquiries until 2.30. From 2.30 onwards, supporters requiring digital season tickets, assistants are asked to visit one of our three dedicated match day hubs, which will be clearly signpost upon arrival. There we go, good support from the Sunderland. The ticket office will continue to progress all other match day inquiries, including match tickets and pre-arranged season card collections. There we have it. If your inquiry is not directly related to this weekend's fixture, please email ticket.office at sefc.com and a member of staff will be in touch shortly. There you go. So there we go. There's lots of road closures 30 minutes before the game and after the game. And of course, there's 50% off between three o'clock and half past four. So there we have it. Some good information. Also, love football, protect the game. This has come from the Sunday website. The English football authorities are introducing a series of measures to help improve the behaviour of supporters, players, managers and coaches across the professional National League system and grassroots game, as well as addressing the issue of football you know, abuse. New policies, procedures and regulations will come into force from the start of this season to address unacceptable behaviour on the pitch and the sidelines and in the stands to ensure the actions of the majority do not spoil, the minority do not spoil the majority. This builds on work conducted throughout last season to combat dangerous and illegal fan behaviour supported by the Love Football Protect the Game campaign. So there we have it. So, you know, anybody out there, the majority of fans do well, do, do behave themselves. So there, go there, enjoy the game we all love. Now, Lahaji has left Sunderland. We all knew Lahaji wasn't happy being at Sunderland now, regardless you know, what we think the personal circumstances of each player is most important. Lahaji could have come to England, may not have enjoyed his time in England, may not have made, you know, you know, enough friends, the language barriers tough for Lahaji as well. So I respect the decision. We've gotten money from him. We bought him, we've gotten money from him. I wish him all the best in his new club. So Son of the FC confirmed that La Isaac Lahaji has completed his transfer to Al Duhail SC. The winger who moved to Wearside, who was supposed to be the Mads, a Mads sort of replacement this season, in January 23, joins Qatar-based side for an undisclosed fee. Rumours about 4 million now, don't know if that's true or not. 
Lahaji made six appearances during his time at the stadium light and SFC with 21 year old. We wish him the best luck in the future. Christian Speakman said, We thoroughly enjoyed having Lahaji Isaac at Sunderland FC, but we must be pragmatic in these scenarios and, ac and accesses the opportunity and the transfer proposal that we receive. You're getting more cash to help with the transfer. We can get players in. After considering all the factors, we believe this represents an incredible positive deal for the club. Now, you know, these, you know, these sort of Dubai teams have lots of cash. Am I getting a good deal for this lad? So there we are. Positive deal for the club and it's a transfer that will also credit immediate opportunities for us in the market. Isaac is a great kid. We wish him all the best in the future. So that's good. If we have getting a wads of amounts of money for Lahaji, that can go straight into buying players and rumours are adrift with players that could be coming into the club. Lots of foreign strikers, you know, have, have been addressed, have been sort of pointed out I think we've put in one or two good bids for foreign strikers so now we move on to team news for tomorrow I have been told it is exactly the same team as against Real Mallorca we all knew that was going to happen with it with a possible opportunity of Pritchard coming in for Job but no Job does start tomorrow I'm led to believe through my sources it is exactly the same team as tomorrow get there early at the stadium of light enjoy your 50% off all drinks and food inside the ground Happy days. Hope you have a good day. Have a good night. Please, like I said, leave your score predictions for the Ipswich game. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And hopefully new signings are coming in very shortly. I want to wish Tony Mowbray and the lads a fantastic start of the season. Let's get at least a point, but three points would be absolutely amazing at the Stadium of Light. I'm going for a 2-1 win. Hopefully, love to see a brace from Semedo. Leave your comments down below. What's your thoughts on Lahaji? I'm happy he's gone. I'm, I'm pleased for the young lad. I'm pleased that some money come in. Let's reinvest that money in the squad and the team now. Get a striker in. You know, we do need that. It's important. So there you go. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. God bless. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care. And we'll see you tomorrow for the vlog when we take on Ipswich. And I'll be at Wincy's Bar and Grill, where Wincy has a guitar. And he'll be doing a little song. He'll be doing some sort of song. I don't know. I don't even know if he can play the guitar. But we'll give it a go anyway. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.